gotta rub it in, Doc. Stop! Please! You can do nothing. Quit. It. Now. We may take our time and talk. Id. Back to Krillian and Ali. Krillian, he just takes one look at her and walks off. He had to admire her body one last time. And Ramses walks in. Damn it, Ramses. The hell are you want? Commander! What are you? Are you molesting her? Where? What? Where? I'm asking you where? That hurts. Please, please stop. Where is he? Where? I know you know. Take me to him. Who are you referring to when you say that man? Are you talking about Faye? Faye, 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 Faye this, Faye that. Faye, in what way is he more superior than I? I will not accept it. I will not. <sighs> Ramses, that drug, a mental stabilizer? Why are you so shook up like that? What's forcing you to go through all this? What happened between you and Faye? Damn it, Faye. I'll show you. I... Ramses. What the hell? Faye, hang in there! Wait, did Doc let us go? So Doc is on our side? Faye, you're conscious? Now, let's go! Y you traitor! Stop, Faye! Don't stop, Bart. He betrayed us! He betrayed us on Ellie! Stop, Faye, it's your mistake! Let go, let me go! Calm down, Faye. Bart isn't lying, Satan is the one who helped us. Billy? He, he got you too, Billy? Huh. Billy says that you listen. <laughs> not if you say it though, Bart. No, not if you say it. Listen very carefully. That limiter is implanted in our bodies. Right now, this research facility is the only place where we can get them removed. Satan misled Krillians and the other guys and brought us in here to remove the limiter. What? Doc was just... is that true? Yeah. Doc? That is not the only reason why I brought you here. Those who want to become independent from Solaris must know the actual situation and its true form. Who is doing what and why? Ostensibly. I received a covert order from the uh, from the Emperor to contact the body wanted by the Ministry to send the data, and if possible bring the body back. That was my duty. As a result, I had no choice but to deceive you. Please forgive me. I see how it is. Besides, I myself had a matter that had that had to be verified in this facility. For sure? I'll tell you that after we escape from here. It is something you must know. What? By the way, Satan, did you remove Phase Limiter? You did remove Phase Limiter, didn't you? What? Y yes, of course, that is... Alright then, let's get out of here. Wait, what happened to Ellie? Weren't you with her? Ellie was taken to Krellian's research lab. It could not be stopped. I am sorry. Why only Ellie? I do not know. He has the host for her, most likely. One thing bothers me. When Krellian took Ellie, I had a chance to require cellu Ellie's cellular information. I analyzed it and found something very interesting. Excuse me. I mean, unusual. There's no limiter implanted in her. There's no limiter? Isn't that because Ellie was is from Solaris? Even Solaris citizens have a limiter implanted when they are born. There are exceptions for certain people like myself and Ramses, whose limiters can be removed later on through the treatment, such as the one I did for Bart. You must have permission from the Ministry to do so. Is that why? 
Ellie, there must be more to it than that. I don't know the reason, but Krellian is so absorbed by her data. I don't care what the reason is. For now, let's help Ellie and get out of here fast. You're right. If we mess up here, I put those guys who went to help Ellie's parents in danger. Satan, we're going to Krellian's private research lab as planned. We'll meet up at the rendezvous point. What about Doc? There's still something left to be done. I will go destroy the last gate. Doc! A sword? Yes. You gave it to me as I was leaving. I used to use it before I met her. For a long time I vowed not to use it for killing, though. But now is not the time to contemplate morals. It is not fair for me to be the only innocent one. I see. But... Yes? You're always so mischievous, Doc. It isn't my nature. I am sorry. Forgive me. Yo, Sedan! Let me handle Faye and Ellie's situation. Now that the limiter is removed, Solaris doesn't stand a chance. Oh, yes. By the way, young one, about the effects of removing the limiter. The results will not show up that quickly. Already your physical limiters have been removed naturally. The part I have removed is the psychological section. That is, the subconscious fear and veneration for the Ministry and the Emperor have been removed. Basically, you'll be able to battle against them without any fears or hesitations. It's not that you have suddenly become more powerful. Are, are you serious? Holy crap, hour-long cutscenes are over! Wow. Okay. Hold on one second while I, uh, while I equip Billy and, and Bart here. Alright, basically I'm keeping Faye in what he's got, the dark armor, long dark coat, and dark helm. He has my dark character, apparently. I do have Bart on the Sonic Wave. Crimson's asked, uh, he's actually going to be wearing the battle apron and the feathered cap. Uh, Billy is still on the 686 gun because even though I got the matchlock, it has no ammo. I have no ammo for it. Um... So, yeah, with the, the X ammo, and then, oh, we need to upgrade the shot. Damn it. And as well, he's going to be on the Crimson Vaz Feathered Cap, and then the Ether Baylor. Now, I think we need to head, is it this way? I think this is the way we're supposed to go. According to Stan, Krillian's private laboratory should be below us. Okay. And we found Ellie! Nice! How are you doing, Ellie? Ellie. You okay? Hey. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm fine. Sorry to interrupt you, too. But this is not the time for a heartfelt reunion. Quickly, this way. What? We found another way in. Awesome. So we go further, deeper down. Jesse! What's oh, taking so long? I've only got so many bullets. Hurry up and blow them away. I'm sorry. I thought there are matters to attend to. What the hell are you doing? His Majesty's... You mean the Emperor? Are you sure, Hyuga? Yes, His Majesty understands the situation. He says to leave it up to them. There. It is done, sir! Yes! We're out of here! Huh? Ramses. Where is he? Hyuga. Car? So, you too. You are also betraying me. Car, we are just in different situations. I did not mean to betray you. I decided to stick with, with Faye's group. Did you say Faye? You too are on his side. I'll never forgive you. Never! Car, you're an enemy. But why are you so attached to one kid? You weren't like that before. Shut up! I've got to get him with my own hands. And all of you working with him are my enemies. And 
enemies stealing my things. Enemies, enemies, enemies. Car. Hey, we're going. I don't know what went on, but I don't have time to deal with him now. But. You go. I see. And we just ditch him. Screw you, car. Ramses, whatever you. What? You traitors! Did, did he die? Did, did he? Did, what? I don't know what's going on. There's so much going on. So basically, hey, looks like there's a little door here. That leads to everybody. Oh, that's right. Face Kim is here. Father, mother. Wow, everybody's here. Ellie. You should thank Hammer. Hammer got your parents at the right time, right, Hammer? Yes. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Hammer. We'd like to thank you, too. I never thought I'd see my daughter again. Thank you, Hammer. Hammer, he's useful for once. Listen, everyone, we have no time to waste. So that we do not stand out, we should split up into two groups. Faye, you have done a lot, but I would like to have you move on ahead and take two more members with you. Move along southwest of here and cross two mobile contact bridges. There you will find a hangar that will lead to the outside. We will meet at the footbridge near there. If you talk to the blue memory cubes, you will be able to, s to make contact with the other party members. You can thus change which members you wish to have in your current party. I shut down alarms here and there when I was breaking gates, but still dangerous. Be careful. I'll go to the hangar beho beforehand and arrange a ride for us. Solaris is in confusion now, so if I go alone, I can pull some strings. Okay. Please do not overdo it. Yeah, I know. Ellie, Medina, see you again. Dear, please be careful. Father. And off he goes. Okay, so we are definitely going to end the part here. Uh, just just a little recap in case you didn't quite understand what's going on. Basically, those guys that were in the memory cube, the alien lizard-looking people that I've been calling them this whole time, they're actually one of the original humans that were here 10,000 years ago. They no longer have bodies. Emperor Kane's the only one that was alive then that still has a body. Uh, in order for them to resurrect those lizard alien people, they need the people who follow me around right here. They need Bart and Billy because they are genetically close to their original bodies, apparently. They are they are like their bodies reincarnated, pretty much. They're so close, we need them. And uh, Satan has he betrayed us. There's there's real no other way around it. He betrayed us, but he's on our side now. Um, and he rescued us, so it's all kind of forgiven. Um, he 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 just didn't trust us with the information. Can't say I blame him. Ellie is special. She's got some kind of DNA that matches Mother, uh, which I assume... They haven't really described Mother yet, but she, she's very important. Uh, Miang was also brought up. Krellian has been around forever, apparently. And I think that's going to... I think that, that, that pretty much sums it up. If you guys have any further questions about what the hell just happened, feel free to put it in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts of Let's Play Zeno Gears. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined by everybody that you see here. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.